Yeah. No, he's just feeding. Perfect. Perfect. I got him held that time. He handheld it, I understand. He handheld it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. We got Chris on the boat up front, and then I got a special guest for you. You know him as your boy, Eric Anders. Eric Anders on the back of the boat. NCAA champion, LFA champion. For two minutes here to go in round one. Again, oh. Down goes Sapo. And this man gets it. Fishing champion. I get him about right there. Flip him in the boat. Flip, flip it. Yeah, lift it straight up. Pull yeah. in the boat. Now fishing champion, UFC fighter Eric Anders is on the boat. You guys are going to want to watch this one. Stay tuned. <laughs> going uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tighten yeah tighten it up a little bit that, that little red knob there you just want like a very slow fall on that bait and that lets you know you're tuned up just right yeah there you go so when it hits the water I bet that spool is gonna stop that's probably perfect right there as long as it hits the water keep your thumb on that spool so you just as soon as it hits the water just right. pop that spool if it backlashes we got plenty of experience getting those out So we got Eric squared away. Turns out he's a lefty, but he reels he reels righty. So teach him a little bit about crankbaits, a little bit about the reels, because he does have his own equipment. Y'all know I got a deal with uh, PC Fun, uh, fish with family, and they sent Eric his uh, very own combo. Um, nice little torrent reel and rod. Y'all know the torrent series rods and or torrent series reels rather. Um, I'm a huge fan of the magnetic brakes. They cast a mile. Um, and they're relatively cheap. You know, their whole thing is cut out the middle man, so you don't find these in stores. You gotta buy them online. And uh, if you use the code RL18, you can get 18% off that reel. Um, just go to PCFun.com, enter RL18, get 15 or 18% off. Talk to Eric a little bit. He's crankbait fishing over here. So while he's crankbait fishing, we're gonna talk to him a little bit. Nine, uh, 2009 National Championship team. That's right. Best I'm, not, I'm not sure which part of that game you're more known for so obviously you had colt mccoy get hurt pretty early on and everybody thought oh man all the alabama fans at least myself sitting in a dorm room watching was like this game's over alabama's about to crush them i mean they lost their they lost their starting quarterback but then they bring in this kid gilbert and he ain't bad they start making a little bit of a comeback and you sort of sealed the win for us you blindsided him Unblocked. What was that feeling like knowing that you were not blocked and you had his back? You were right there. I mean, there's really no bigger stage, you know. Uh, the situation was pretty clutch too, so you know I think it's a play that uh, you know Alabama fans will, will remember forever. So you know it's uh, an awesome feeling to be able to be a part of something like that. I mean, that forced fumble sealed the game. So that that was. That was part one. Everybody, everybody knew number 32 at that point. I mean, if you hadn't known 32 all year, you knew him at that point because that sealed the game for us. But then there was something that uh, that happened right near the end of the game. I mean, last second of the game, clock goes to zero. You hit Coach Saban in the head with the water cooler. I'm gonna go ahead and let him know that uh, you know, that was more his fault than our fault. <laughs> you know, he kind of stopped and started walking back towards us. As we were going forward, and you know, you got a bucket full of Gatorade, man. So it's hard to, you know, that's a lot of momentum swinging. So, you know, uh, I think that one's on him. Look at him tearing up out there. Fish were busting all out there in the middle, though. Hang on, boys. Are you 
No, he's just feeding. I got him that time. First one of the day. Shortly after that, you signed free agent deal. You go to the NFL for a while, um, played some professional ball here, there, and then you walk into a gym and you spar for the first time. What what was the the point where you said I want to do this? Right then and there, uh, you know, it was something like totally foreign to me. I was uncomfortable. You know, I just bought in, and you know, I was working and training. You know up before the sun rises, going to bed at midnight, training and working all day. Now I'm in a position where I, I don't have to work a, you know, a nine to five. Uh, I don't have to, you know, teach private lessons or classes or anything like that. You know, because recover, rest and recovery is just a big part of training as the actual training itself. You know, now I can just do that, train all day, uh, catch a nap, eat, you know, do everything I need to do on my time. You had a long amateur, well, I say it's a long amateur career. It was just a lot of fights. I mean, you had a lot of amateur fights getting into it. It, it was somewhere in, what was it, just under 20 or over 20? Yeah, I think I had 24, uh, 24, 25 amateur fights, something like that. Um, man, when I first started, you know, I didn't have like the greatest coach or, uh, man, or anything like that. So I, mean, I was literally fighting every other weekend for a two year period. And, you know, looking back on it, hindsight being 2020, uh, you know, I don't think it benefited me a whole lot having that many fights that like boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of fight, train for a few months, fight, train for a few months. But I like the fighting part now. It's not like I was getting beat up, so. You know, uh, I went 19-3 and 1, so, you know, I you know won the better part of them. And, you know, like I said, didn't take a whole lot of damage in those fights. So, you know, I guess they were just kind of glorified sparring matches. All right, so you've only got one on the jerk bait. I'm not convinced the jerk bait's the way to go. Yeah. I would agree with that. I get ten percent of whatever you catch. <laughs> He inhaled that underspin. He inhaled it. Good little guy. Alright. You go pro and you go on this tear. And then everybody starts learning about that left hand. That if you get in distance within you with, with you and that left hand lands on your jaw, it's over, lights out. For two minutes here to go in round one, again, oh. down goes Sapo, and this man hits him. When did you discover that left hand was like, go to sleep? I mean, you know, I, I played, you know, sports and, you know, weight training and all that stuff my whole life, so especially with football, like you, your body is just programmed and trained for you know, short area quickness, speed, power, and explosion. So, you're uh, good. As soon as I actually learned how to punch, you know, um, you know, the power, you know, of course, was going to be there just because you know I've been training to be powerful, right, uh, my entire life. So right. It was just a matter of putting the technique behind it. So your last fight, which was an absolute grind. Which I did have you win, and it was close, but I did have you win in that fight. Um, I think it went well. You said you're going to take the rest of the year off. Yeah, I, I uh, man, you know, when you, 
getting those back and forth exchanges, you know, you take a little bit of damage. So, uh, man, I got hit a bunch. So I just want to, you know, take some time off, heal, rest, recover, and uh, get back to it at the top of the year. Yep. That's close. How many professional 13 fights now? Four. Thirteen four. Yeah. So okay. So, so you're still you're still under you're still under twenty fights, man. You're in your prime. If you weren't a fan of Eric Anders before, you need to be a fan of the guy now. So many fights are on short notice. The guy's just, um, hey, you go out there, you get a call, and you're like, hey, we need you in a couple weeks. Your answer is always. Yeah, but man, to be honest, man, I really haven't taken too many short notice fights. I think Thiago was short notice, and my debut was short notice. Uh, but the thing about me, man, is I, I train year round. Like, I'm never not training unless. You know, I'm like injured or something, so, you know, I'm always in the gym, so I'm always uh, prepared to, to fight. And at 205, man, I could do that. I have done that, and I would do it again. Is that turtle right there? Is that Leaf? That's Leaf. Man, you can edit that part out. Oh, I got one. Aha! Get up. There you go. All right, get him about right there. Flip him in the boat. Flip, yeah, lift it straight up. Pull in the boat. There you go, Eric. Eric on a green fish. You just gonna grab him just like that with your thumb in there. He's got some teeth, but they're they're just like sandpaper. There you go. There you go. Big dog, I got you. Don't even trip. Eric with the fish. Right, you, want, you want a picture with you? Are you like your phone? Or? I can, you want to send it to me? Sure. Right, cool. Toss him back. Boom. There you go, Eric. I ain't see got that technique though. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I just jigging it back and forth like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not a whole lot of fish catches, but we did get Eric on one fish. I mean, he put he put the you know he put some muscle behind it. Got some. It was a pretty good fish. It's about two two pounds. I mean, two, maybe a pound and a half, two pounds. Probably more like six or seven, to be honest with you. You know, it was, uh, it was probably the biggest one in the lake. All right, so now you know he is a fisherman because you know how we do in the fishing community. It wasn't that big; it was that big. Anyway, if you guys didn't know, Eric has his own YouTube channel. Y'all should go check that out. You interview a lot of other fighters. Mm -hmm. uh, what other kind of content you got on there? Uh, past jiu-jitsu uh, competitions, boxing competitions. Uh, can't really put any UFC stuff on there because I'll take it down and. Put you, put you in cuffs. What, what's the channel name? Is it just your name? It's just Eric Anders. Yep. E R Y K A N D E R S. I'm going to put the link in the description. Y'all go hit that. Hit the subscribe button. Go check out this stuff because I know you guys are fight fans. Eric, thanks so much for joining us, man. I really appreciate it. Man, my pleasure, brother. Thank We'd you love to have you me. back. Love to have you back. Anytime. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one.